Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be installing the newest version of Kodi and to show you how to always have the newest version of Kodi with the best build for movies, TV shows, which is the Diggs build. It's been going on for years. It's still up. It's still working. It's, in my opinion, the best build. So let's get this going. So make sure you connect your Fire Stick to the internet. Make sure you sign into your Amazon account. We're going to get Kodi. We're going to get all set up. So once you've done that, the first thing you want to do you want to go to a gear icon and you want to go to my fire tv once there you'll see an option like this and if you don't see developer options or you don't have it or you're not sure just click on the about once there you'll see the name of your fire stick so mine is fire stick 4k you might see light you might see fire tv whatever version you're using and you want to turn on developer options to do that just click six to eight times on the actual name of the device one two three four five six seven eight see how it says no need you're already a developer this is the first vital step we must take to turn on developer options okay once you're done that just simply hit the home button we now have developer options turned on this is the first thing you got to do to be able to install third-party apps like Kodi or any other applications okay once you've done that you want to go to the find icon and you want to search and you want to search for an application called downloader downloader just simply say it or type it in you'll see an orange icon like this click on the downloader icon and once there click on the download okay it's going to queue it it's going to download it and it's going to install the downloader application okay okay once we're done that we're going to press the open button in the downloader application press the allow button and press the OK button. Okay, you'll see a screen like this. Click one up and go up and click into the empty field. And to get the newest version, we're just going to type in Cody.tv. We're going to get it directly from the Cody's website. Okay, Cody.tv and press the go button. And later I'll show you how to load the build and how to get the full build going. You'll see a screen like this. Okay, you'll see the Cody's website. Now I can scroll with this cursor here. See the red dot moving around? You want to scroll, it just shows you the capabilities of Kodi, and you want to scroll until you find uh, a little uh, button called Download Now. Just click on that little button, Download Now. It'll actually take you to Kodi TV slash download, okay? And I believe you can also access this from the hamburger menu here. Let's see. So here, and then also a quick way if you can't find it, just the download right there. From the hamburger menu as well so you can see i have the mouse cursor and all that and i can just navigate around and find uh, the section that you want to find okay that will also take you to the download section and you can close uh, the hamburger menu and you see we're in the download section scroll down okay until you find this android icon here for your fire stick click on the green little android guy scroll down and you can see that we're already on nexus 20.4 so this is the newest version but this is always install the recommended version don't install the pre-releases that because they're really experimental so you can go here and we're not going to use the google play and since we're in a fire stick we need this special file here arm v7a 32 bit okay once you've done that click on that file version that's for all fire stick this version right here click on that that's going to pop it up and it's going to start downloading Kodi. It's about 71 megabytes. So it's going to take a minute or two to download the Kodi. And then we're going to install Kodi, but it's going to be completely blanked. And I'll show you how to fully load it, how to make it work, and how to load this build and how to get movies, TV shows, and how to make the build actually work, okay? Um, for all sports, pay-per-views, and everything else you want. Absolutely free, okay? So when that's done, you can either you can press install or delete so it's going to automatically pop up and we're going to run into an issue with downloader hit settings and install unknown apps and we want to make sure downloader is on once we turn it on press one back and press one more back okay it's going to throw us back in and but this time you can see it throws us back in and we don't have Cody so even if we go here in files uh, you can see that we have it downloaded already here, okay? But now we're able to install it. So once you're in downloader here, we don't have to do this again. You can simply just go here to the side menu in downloader and you can go to files 
and you see that that file is still hanging around here that we downloaded see we just downloaded this now 20.4 now click on the file again okay now it will launch the installation file and now we'll be able to press the install button and it will install press the install button and it will install code because we turned on the developer options we turned on the downloader developer options this is you must do to install things okay so once we're done installing Kodi, let's just press uh, the done button. Let's not open it up yet. Uh, we can now exit downloader safely by hitting the home button. So we've exited downloader and just to recap what we have done. So we basically installed downloader and then we've installed Kodi successfully, but now we have to fully load it with the digs build for all the movies, TV shows and all that stuff. So one thing you want to check first before we get around in Kodi you want to go to this gear icon again and we got to go to my fire tv again and followed by developer options install unknown apps make sure downloader is on so it is on okay hit the home button hit the three dots and plus you'll see where we have it here no problem let's go back and before we fully load cody uh, for the digs build to work properly and for things to get more links and more content for this stuff to be able to load as some of service providers have been blocking the digs build repository and blocking the URL to get the actual repository what you want to do you want to go to search and you want to search for IP vanish um, VPN okay so IP vanish IPV if you type that in it's going to auto complete IP vanish just like that so type in IP vanish once you do that click on the IP vanish you'll see a logo like this click on the actual IP vanish logo okay and click download so what that's gonna do I'm gonna log into my own account it's gonna be able to connect to the digs repository it's gonna be able to get the build some add-ons require now a VPN some scrapers will now require a VPN when using Kodi to get more links more content to actually make these things work properly and stay anonymous to get your own account scan the barcode here okay or go to this link here bitly link also in the pink comment description you're gonna get a discount it's a few bucks a, a month and it's gonna give you uh, access to IP vanish on unlimited devices one account can be used on five TVs, six TVs many fire sticks uh, computer laptop whatever as long as it's in one household you can use this on unlimited devices inside your house house called okay so I'm going to download IP Vanish. I'm going to turn it on and then we're going to be installing the digs repository and the digs build. Okay. So once IP Vanish installs, I'm going to open it up and I'm going to log in with my own account and you can get your account, as I said, from the barcode or link here, pin comment description to make this properly work. Okay. Get your account. And once you're ready to go, uh, sign up for a package from this link. Once you choose a package, confirm your email and then you'll be ready to sign in. I'm going to sign into my account, pause the video if you need to, and then we'll lo fully load the Kodi build, okay? Okay, here I am signed into my own account. I'll go first to the gear icon and I'll say connect on Android startup. I'll press back and then I'll go into the location right here, okay? Click on the location and countries go all the way to the United States. This is going to get you into the digs build. United States, you want to click on United States. You want to favor United States and you want to press again once you favor it and say connect to United States. Okay. This will pop up. Press the OK on that screen. Give it a second and it will now connect to the United States server, our VPN. Okay. Here we are. We're connected to United States. We're fully secure. Now we can access digs we can access anything else we can access unlinked whatever you want to access we can now do it okay so that's available as i said barcode with your cell phone you can scan that or you can go to this link or the link in the pinned comment description for easy access and a big discount for ip vanish since i partnered with them to give you guys this access okay so let's press the home button once we're done and we're connected now go three dots plus sign now we're going to launch cody as we installed it okay and this will always ensure you, you have the newest version. Press the continue on the first screen and allow Kodi record audio. Yes, while we're using the app, no problem. Allow Kodi access photos. Ensure no problem. That's for movies and show. It'll write to the memory. Uh, some cache and things like that. Nothing to worry about. This is from Kodi's official website. No Trojans, no viruses. It'll take a minute to start up the first time. Okay.
once it starts up you'll see something like this and from here you will be installing the repository I want you to go and hit that gear icon at the top okay we're gonna follow by file manager and we're gonna press the add source okay we're gonna press the none field and we're gonna add the following repository here okay HTTP okay we're gonna look for the colon you gotta hit that it's a, this one's a little bit complicated let's go back here okay so we have to hit this with the lock to get to the colon okay okay let's press the colon now we gotta unlock that again here pressing it again okay and forward slash forward slash and we're gonna put in D I G G double G digs one okay dot me and I'll put the URL here for easier access for you guys okay and forward slash and then we're gonna put in D I G G double G Z or Z how you say it in in the United States Z in Canada Z in the United States okay put this URL exactly like that digs one dot me forward slash digs repo once you're done that press the OK button here okay leave this name as is no worries and press the OK button okay that's gonna add the repository and you should get no errors and then will be added okay press back and press back twice back so now that's added okay now we have to go to okay add-ons once you click in add-ons you'll see this little box here it's our package installer click on that package installer okay once you're in the package installer install from zip file settings now unknown sources has to be turned on and say yes and show notifications I'm going to turn on as well okay now once I'm done click one back install from zip file again and now you see we're in digs repo we can select that select digs repo and select repository digs 17.zip remember that my VPN is on I'm fully protected and I'm installing this right now it's going to install the repository give it a minute it should pop up if it doesn't then we can install we can click one up and hit install from repository okay so now once that pops up and it tells us repository is installed install from repository go to digs repository okay now in here you want to go to program add-ons and you want to click on chef nexus wizard okay so click on chef nexus wizard and press the install button and press the ok button and that's going to install the dependencies and all that stuff we need give it a minute while the chef wizard installs and when it's finished installing it'll give you a notification or wrap up and it will be ready to go here any minute once the repository installs you get all kinds of messages so Xeon Plus 2.4 is available now live TV fixes mostly so live television uh, it just shows you all the updates so we can hit one back back arrow and chef nexus wizard is installed now uh, we can click on chef nexus wizard and we can open it up it's also available in the program add-ons and Cody welcome to chef's nexus wizard then we're going to click on build menu okay so there's some versions so the version that we want okay there's a burst version there's a kids version and there is the free version 2.3 and the debris version so the two versions you might want to try this one I feel works best is the free version 2.3 so click on the burst version not the burst the free version 2.3 okay once you click on that say continue and that's gonna pop up it's gonna download and it's gonna install that version here you go it's gonna download the build once it's finished downloading it's gonna extract it and will be fully loaded and we'll be able to use the build okay give it a minute have a coffee do whatever you need to do let it download let it extract and you'll be ready to go in a minute 
Once the build finishes downloading, it'll go through the extraction process. It'll extract all the files. You should not get any errors, but if you do, it still might go through okay. Some errors are not that serious, but as you can see, no errors so far. It's going to extract all the files. It does take some time to download the build, to extract it, so be patient. If this process, it stops or crashes on you, just try it again. It might take one try or two tries, uh, depending on the server, because you know the server is getting hammered when people are downloading. So just give it a try once or twice. Click on the build name again to download it again if something crashes. Uh, but it should download for you, and then it should extract. And after extraction, we're pretty much ready to go, okay? Also, I'm doing this with the VPN on, so I'm protected as well, so that might slow down the download a little bit for you, uh, but that will keep you safe and anonymous, okay? So, almost here, almost done, and we're almost ready to go. As you can see, it will extract everything, and then it will force close Cody. If that, it doesn't force close Cody, we can force close it, but it will say, click OK to force close, let's click OK, and as you can see, we have our VPN running, we have Cody, and we have our downloader. We successfully loaded the Diggs build, and we successfully fully loaded Cody, okay? Now, to enjoy Cody, we just have to start it up, and we're ready to go with Cody, okay? And make sure your VPN is on. This barcode here, you can also go in the pinned comment and description for this build to work correctly. With a VPN, it's going to give you more movies, more shows, and some add-ons will only now work with the VPN, okay? So... That is available in the pinned comment description to set you up for a few bucks a month. You're going to be protected and you're going to have things working properly. So this is available here. You can scan that with, with your phone, the barcode, or you can go to this link and the link in the pinned comment description. Go to their website, sign up. Once you have your account, log in and you're ready to go. Okay, let's start up Cody. And how do we know if it's successfully installed, the build, the Diggs build? Well, for the first time when you start it up, you'll see that you'll see all the add-ons here. So, you got your movie section, and then you can click into each add-ons in the movie section. You got your TV show section, you can click into each add-on in the TV section, okay? And you got your uh, TV guide, you got your sports section, all the add-ons are below. So, basically the way it works, you got sports, then you got the bottom here one, and then you choose which add-on individually to go into each individual add-on. Fully loaded build, fully working, fully successful. Make sure you use it with a VPN for the sports stuff. Might not even load any links if you don't have a VPN on. All these links now require a VPN. VPN is available, like I said, here in scan the barcode or go in the pinned comment uh, for the link in the description to get the best discount. Okay, press OK in any add-ons. If it pops up, gives you some error, might be some add-on conflict. Not very important. Most add-ons work. Most things will work and you'll have a really nice experience. Let me know if this worked for you. Let me know what do you think of this build. Um, like I said, let it run for five minutes because it's updating all the add-ons in the background and after five minutes you'll be ready to use the build. Let me know where you're from. Let me drop a comment below if this worked for you. If it hasn't, uh, let me know what city and town you're from. Let me know if this worked for you. How are you enjoying it so far? Uh, let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care and hopefully this has worked for you and you're enjoying this build.